In all my travels, I have never once met a human being who wakes up and declares, today I will pollute the ocean. And yet, our actions as human beings on planet Earth pollute the ocean. Plastics are perfect. They are lightweight. They last forever. They save on transport. They are really, really convenient. They cover almost everything. And they end up looking like this. So can you tell me where your trash goes? In 2019, whatever you tell me, you probably follow up by saying, I think, I'm not really sure. Whose fault is it? Whose problem is it? Is it a policy problem? Is it a consumer problem? Is it industrial? Is it systematic? What's going on? Well, Thailand is losing lots of tourism dollars because tourists don't want to sit on a beach covered in microplastics or go surfing and end up with plastic bags on their thighs. So the US Embassy of Thailand hired me in collaboration with the Phuket Hotels Association to hopefully reduce single-use plastics in 65 hotels in Phuket, Thailand. What it started as was a goal to just put a water dispenser in every lobby of every hotel. What it turned into was I designed and implemented a five-part model to help hotels. Step number one, get people out of their heads and into their hearts, where adults actually make most of their decisions. And we worked with people to understand plastics. We took them on plastics learning journeys, ranging from step zero, drilling for oil, and working it through chemical plants to create plastics one through seven, discussing what that means. What is plastic one? What is plastic seven? What should we be doing with them? And answering questions like, you know, I use plastic bottles, but I always recycle them, so they become new bottles, right? So I'm good, I'm in the clear. To, uh, I don't throw my plastics into the ocean, and my family doesn't throw their plastics into the ocean, so who the heck is polluting? And then we worked really, really hard on understanding and working with individuals on their understanding about their impact with plastics use. So we use, on planet Earth, a million plastic bottles every single minute of every day and every night. And we use just as many plastic bags. So we can recycle a lot of plastics. However, food-grade plastic currently cannot be recycled to become more food-grade plastic. So great, we can recycle all that plastic to become fleece jackets and carpet and shoes and picnic tables, terrific. But remember, we use a million a minute. We just don't need that many fleece jackets. We also worked really hard so that people could understand waste management. In Phuket, Thailand, they incinerate most of their trash. Well, that's great, as long as the temperature stays above 850 degrees Celsius. But they also mix food waste in there. Guess what? That threatens air pollution and turns into quite a complex issue. You'd be surprised how hard people hang on to their single-use plastics. I would get told every single day, but it's okay, I reuse my plastic bags. And I'd say, oh, really? Cool, that's awesome. Do you have 100 at home, or 500, or maybe 1,000? It's becoming an issue for our great-grandchildren, and we've just got to nip it in the bud. So the next thing we talked about was just straight-up advice. People don't know what to do. So in a hotel, you can't have glass bottles of water next to a pool. It can break, and kids' feet get all torn up. It's a disaster. So we would ask, well, what do you do with beer? And they'd say, oh, we pour it into an acrylic glass in front of the guest. Super solved. The next huge issue was mangoes, believe it or not. So when a guest brings a juicy, beautiful mango into a hotel room, ants come. They need a trash bag. Well, what about no trash bag in the bin and just a cute little bag all folded up nicely on the desk with a note? Good idea. We also worked a ton with food and beverage. This is a hygiene issue and we'll never win, right? Like plastic, whoa. Okay, so what do we tell people? 
what about other options? So if we go from a plastic straw to no straw, you're saving money. And then every once in a while when a guest demands a straw, give them a paper one. Okay, not just what leaves the hotel, we also worked on what enters the hotel. If you can imagine sitting down to a beautiful beef dinner on Phuket, most likely the beef has been shipped in styrofoam from the United States. So we worked on contracts with suppliers to ensure that we would guarantee purchasing despite it coming in paper or something more renewable. And it worked. In 2018, we got 31 hotels to give up single-use plastic water bottles in their rooms and single-use plastic straws out of 65 hotels. It's a pretty good beginning. And that equated to over 6 million single-use plastics out of distribution at the gas level, which is, I don't know, pretty good start, right? So um, let's see. Sorry about that. So with all this in mind, all of these changes, what we have to remember is it's really about people. Single-use plastics have actually enabled many human beings to live a faster, more economic life. Just about two generations ago, most women in Thailand were living and working at home, taking care of their family, so cooking three meals a day, and they were grounded at home. Women today want to work like in a hotel and make money. And so single-use plastics help that. So we had to recognize the reality. The other thing I wanted to mention is my first memory as a child was when I was about two years old standing on the shores of Lake Michigan looking out and seeing a plastic-free, gigantic body of water. And my dream is that every human being, every child gets that. So I've started putting out silly little plastics videos. And if you're interested in watching them, I put them out every day on Instagram and Facebook. And I hope you can, I hope you can follow me and have a laugh about it. It's basically to empower us so that we can work with policy and we can also work with companies and stand our ground and protect planet Earth. Thank you.